Hey everybody, today I'm just going to do a product review of this Blemo stat that's technically not been released yet. Um, luckily I have a really good Blemo rep that brings me stuff and I got wind of this and I had to get my hands on one. So my Blemo rep um, made that happen. So this stat is Modbus or Bagnet. I know I said the M word, and a lot of us in the HVAC world, building automation world, hate Modbus. But um, Honeywell's bringing it back. Uh, on the Spider 5 unitary controllers, or even on the Spider 7 VAV controllers, there's now a, a Modbus terminal on there, which you, allows you to bring Modbus into that device and those devices are backnet so you're you're bringing a modbus device into a backnet device that can be discovered by other backnet devices so you could share the modbus information that way uh, another great use for this are, are the vec 10s the vec 10s have very limited io on them right but they come with four backnet devices already licensed so you can actually use four of these in a, a space and as long as you can use the io on a vec 10 you're good to go so there's there's a couple of places where you can use this stat um, i like the paper e-paper display this is a, a white paper display the buttons are really nice to hit there is nfc technology built into it so if i go to the blemo app i can scan this app from my phone using the nfc helps if i can stay still with it here try it again And now it shows me information about what's going on in this stat. And I could change my temperature set point from here and reload it back into the controller. So if I want to make it 75 degrees, I can scan my phone back into this controller, watch the display, it just changed to 75 degrees. I'll show you what it looks like on the actual phone here. Okay, here's what it looks like on the Blemo Assistant app. This is what the front page looks like. And then we can go into settings here. And we can change um, location, basically the name of the stat here. Change it from Steve's desk to Steve's office. And then we can come down here. You can kind of change the way it looks by selecting the application. You can change the set point from absolute to relative. I'll do that here. And then I'm writing it to the actual stat. And it just changed it now. So now we're in a relative set point. So let me change it back to absolute. And rewrite it back to the stat. and done and you say well why not just make it bluetooth where you can do it across the room well the blemo app rep actually had a good point um, they said a lot of government offices aren't allowing anything bluetooth to go out in their their offices um, bluetooth is an active technology it can go out and, and grab stuff 
you know, from this that end. NFC is it's passive. Uh, you saw I had to be in contact with the stat there, and well, why not just go and touch the button? Well, the world has changed. Um, there, everybody knows about germs, and no one wants to touch wants to limit the amount of things that they touch. If you're already touching your phone and it's your phone and no one else touches it, you can make all the settings you want. Go up there, hold it up there, boom, you're not touching anything else but your phone. So it's it's eliminating another touch point that you have to touch out there. Well, I hope, I hope you like this video on the Blimo stat. Uh, tell me what you think. Leave me a comment down. Tell me what you like about it, what you don't like about it. I'm sure there's there's things that people are going to like about it, and there's things that aren't. I really like the e-paper display. Um, I think that beats everything out there on the market now. I really like it. I'm excited about it. Uh, there is kind of a drawback to it. I don't know if I like it or not. But here, I'm going to kill the power to this stat. This stat has no power right now. I've killed the transformer to it. Being an e-paper display, it's going to maintain all of this without any power on it. Only way I know is now I can't do that. And then if I go to my Blimo app and I try to scan something, it's... telling me it's offline powerless mode so going that's going to make it a little bit harder to troubleshoot walking in an office and looking at a stat and seeing something on it and saying oh yeah the unit's on well now you got to actually verify that the unit's on so that could be uh, a, a down point to someone uh, these stats will come in uh, temperature temperature humidity and temperature humidity co2 and and this one actually since it has humidity um i was able to bring this into a jace and it'll actually give me it'll calculate dew point for me so that's that's a good thing so there's a few uh there's a few good features here uh let me know what you think thanks